Welcome back guys, it's Edward here from Not So Serious Gaming. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much for clicking this video and if you haven't done already, please hit that like button and subscribe. YouTube algorithm is begging for it and so am I. And as a bonus, if you do subscribe, you'll be entered into my 500 subscriber giveaway. With that, I have a secret prize that I'm giving away, which is catered towards the winner's needs, to be honest. And I'm also giving away an alpha testing slot for my upcoming maps. As those of you who have been following my channel, I've been a bit slow on content recently as I've been working on my next one. And enough about me, let's dive into the map. So today, I'm going to be doing the full Easter egg guide for the Minecraft Halloween map. So there's three stages to this easter egg, the first one is for the Pack-a-Punch, the second one is for the Shield and the third one is for Perkaholic. I'll start off with Pack-a-Punch. So first of all what you want to do, you want to go talk to Herobrine. He is up through the double doors, follow it through here and go have a word with him. Once you've done that, he'll mention how hungry he is and how much he's craving some cookies, go find them for him. The first one is actually in the same room as him, just behind him on the shelf here. So to get to the second one, just follow the route that I'm showing you through the cave up until you get to the main town area and head straight to get to the big blue building here. The cookie's just on the box on the right hand side. Head back on yourself just down the street again and the third cookie is in the house on the left hand side. It's just in on the box. Now you need to heat up the cookies. You can do that in the shack just over there but you can't do it just yet because we now need to go collect some coal. Head on back through the cave, just the route that I'm showing you, and on your left hand side here you'll see the coal that you have to destroy to collect. Simply shoot or stab these so you can collect them, and bring them up to the house. You place the coal and the cookies on the fire at the same time, just wait for it to cook, collect these, and take them to Hero Brian. He will now reward you three diamonds. What to do with these indeed? You want to build yourself a diamond pickaxe. So next we need to get some wood, so head back to the town area, buy the door which is the two giant pumpkins, and then cut up this tree here. Start from the bottom and work your way up. Once you've done this, you need to head back into the house where you got the cookie from, the little shack, and on the left hand side is the crafting table. Interact with this three or four times until you've built and collected the diamond pickaxe. Head back into the cave from the town area, turn left and mine the obsidian. This will open up where pack punch is. However, we still need to collect all the parts. So the first one you would already seen, which is just in the blue shack where you would cook the cookies, just on the right hand side here. The second one is in a big red house in the main town area, just up the top of the stairs next to the power. The third and final piece is over in the far corner over in the nether. You just purchase the doors, step on through the portal, jump over all the lava without dying and pick up the flag. Now you're ready to go back and build yourself a pack a punch. Bruh. Now it's time for the shield locations. So the very first one is actually in the spawn area. You want to purchase this door for 250 points and just collect it off the box just here on the left hand side. The second piece is in the room just by the town. You want to head down from town, turn left, turn left again, purchase this door and it's just in there on the left hand side. The final piece is in the nether and I hope you're ready for some parkour. So once you're in the nether, all you need to do is parkour across all these blocks until you get up the top and you get yourself the th third and final shield piece. Blah, couldn't say that then. Back over to where you entered the portal to the nether and build the shield just here. Now I think that's everything. All you now need to do is go and buy yourself the Bible ending. Oh wait, no I'm wrong. It's time to kill the creepers. 15 of them to be precise. I'll show you now in a quick little montage. Perkaholic. Just like my dear friend Duty Fruity just said, that was Perkaholic. Now it's time to get the Bible ending and get the hell out of here. I hope you all have a great Halloween. Thank you ever so much for watching. 
thank you ever so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been Elwood from Not So Serious Game and I hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time of day is. I hope you have a great one. Make sure you love life like you love gaming. Peace out. Ah, oh, what? You actually have to buy it? Now oh, that was a nasty trick. Yeah,